Do not rub together the mid lengths and the ends of your hair, especially if you have very coily hair, this can cause tangles and ultimately breakage. What you do want to do is focus on your scalp because that is the main priority during your shampoo, is removing the dirt and build up from that area. Then you can just gently glide through the shampoo to the mid lengths in the direction of the hair growth. Hey Kylies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiki and for those of you who don't know me, I do all things product reviews, curly hair tips, and styling. In today's video, we'll be looking at how to shampoo curly hair, the do's and the don'ts, so let's get into it. So we're starting this wash day on an old bun. This was a slick back bun I did for New Year and it's been in this bun for a couple of days now. I did slick it with the Wetline Extreme Gel, but that is on top of the other gels and leave-ins I've had on my hair from the previous wash day. So yeah, it is in need of a little bit of a clarification today. The first thing you want to make sure you do during your shampooing is rinse off any buildup that is on your hair using just the water and your fingers as this can give you a nice little start to the wash day. Do not go in with the shampoo straight away without wetting your hair first and getting some of the buildup off of your hair. Do not use any harsh sulfates on your hair. This one is from Cantu. And as you can see from the ingredients list, it says sodium laurel sulfate. Now this is what you want to avoid because if your shampoo contains these, it means it will strip your hair. And if you have dry curly hair, you want to avoid these. Instead, opt for a sulfate free shampoo. As you can see, this one by Palmer's does say on the front, no sulfates. Although if you have a look on the ingredients list, this does contain a form of sulfate, but it's sodium olefin sulfonate, which is a much less harsh sulfate than the Cantu. So this is what you want to look out for. Okay, ladies, I know you love this one, but we should not be having our water temperature too high. Hot water is not good for your hair at all. It can dry your scalp out. It can change the porosity of your hair and make it more porous. In other words, more high porosity and more susceptible to breakage and frizziness. So if you want to keep your hair in good condition, make sure you turn that temperature down to at least warm. Do not try and detangle your hair when it has shampoo in or even prior to deep conditioning because you will get a lot of tangles and you will end up breaking off your hair which is not what we want at all instead make sure you get your conditioner you distribute it through your hair you start by finger detangling and then you can go in with your brush or your comb to make sure your hair is detangled through that process that is the job of a conditioner alternatively you can do this during your pre-poo before you hop in the shower use a nice pre-poo treatment or an oil treatment and detangle then do not shampoo your hair just once. Make sure you're washing twice with a sulfate free shampoo. The first shampoo wash will remove the dirt and residue that's caught on top of the hair. The second shampoo will help you lock in the benefits from your shampoo. For example, the hydration properties or any nourishing properties that the shampoo has to offer. If you're finding that your shampoo is way too stripping on your hair, you probably need to opt for a different shampoo that doesn't strip your hair so much. I like to enhance this by using my scalp scrubber to make sure my scalp is nice and clean. And do not replace your shampoo with co-wash. Hair needs to be washed at least once a week and replacing it with co-wash will just make you end up getting lots of buildup and you will end up with probably really, really soft, overly moisturised, frizzy hair. If you need to co-wash, I tend to use these midweek if I need a little refresh in between my wash days, but never replacing my shampoo with co-wash. Be sure to use a really nice high quality shampoo that doesn't allow your hair to dry out too much when you use it and you are able to still retain moisture with the shampoo. Thanks for watching this video and if you want to know more about shampoos and what to use just click the thumbnail at the end of this one to find out more see you next time